Today we're going to be reading about Jacob and Esau and the stolen blessing. God had promised Abraham that his offspring would be like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore, too many to be counted. But Abraham's son Isaac had no children. For 20 years, Isaac prayed that God would give his wife Rebekah a child. At last, God answered Isaac's prayers. Rebekah was going to have twins, but the two babies fought inside her, and this worried Rebekah. So she went to God and asked, why is this happening? God told her, the babies in your womb will become two nations. One people will be stronger than the other, and the older will serve the younger. When the babies were born, they were both boys. The first baby was red-looking and covered with hair, and they named him Esau. The younger baby was born holding onto Esau's heel, and they named him Jacob. Jacob and Esau grew into young men. Esau became a hunter while Jacob worked at home. Their father Isaac loved Esau best, but their mother Rebecca loved Jacob. One day when Jacob was cooking a stew, Esau came in from the field. I'm so tired. Give me some of that stew, he said. First, sell me your birthright, Jacob said. The birthright belonged to the oldest child, and it gave him more of his family's wealth when the parents died. I'm going to die from hunger. What good is a birthright to me, Esau said. So he sold his birthright to Jacob for a bowl of stew because he did not think it was important. Later, when Isaac was an old man, his eyes became so weak that he could not see. He said to Esau, I am old and I don't know when I will die. Hunt some game for me and make my favorite meal. Then I will bless you. This blessing would make Esau the family's leader. Rebecca heard this, so when Esau left, she said to Jacob, Bring me two young goats. I will make them into your father's favorite meal. Take it to him, and he will bless you instead. But Jacob said, Esau is hairy, and I have smooth skin. What if my father touches me? He'll know I'm a liar, and he'll curse me. Rebecca said, The curse will be on me. Just do what I say. So Jacob brought the goats to her, and she cooked them. She put the goat skins on his hands and neck to make him hairy, and then Jacob took the food to his father. I am Esau, Jacob said. Please eat so that you may bless me. Come closer, Isaac said, and he touched the goat skins on Jacob's hands. Then he said, The voice is Jacob's, but the hands are Esau's. Are you really Esau? I am, Jacob lied. So Isaac ate the meal and blessed Jacob. The blessing included land, riches, and power. May nations bow down to you, Isaac said. Be master over your brothers. Soon after, Esau returned and brought his father his favorite meal. Then Isaac knew he had been tricked. Esau begged his father to bless him too, but it was too late. Esau was so angry, he decided to kill Jacob when Isaac died. Rebekah heard this and sent Jacob away to live with her brother. As he traveled, Jacob stopped one night to sleep. He took a stone and put it under his head for a pillow. While Jacob slept, he dreamed of a stairway that reached from the ground all the way up to heaven, and God's angels were going up and down it. Then God spoke to Jacob and said, I am the God of Abraham and Isaac. I will give you and your offspring the land you are sleeping on. Your offspring will be like the dust of the earth. All people will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you. I will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. Jacob took the stone he had used as a pillow, and he poured oil over it. Then he named that place Bethel, which means house of God.